Oh. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party. Oh, you know here. there's a bonfire. I'm sure you do. So here's the deal. I stopped the game because I couldn't find it. And then I looked it up. And then when I went to start the game again, I had to find all the bottles again. But at the very least, I found where the last one was. And I learned my lesson to not stop playing after collecting a bunch of bottles. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Um. Oh yes, we can use this one for a target. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle Jesus booty to Christ. Captain Chloe. Is this stuff just gonna spontaneously fall down? Do this. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're going to shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. What? Max, you have to help me aim. What? Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. What? What's happening? Wait, do I have to... <laughs> you look all sad. Okay, let's go back, let's go back. Oh, don't get hurt. Show me the way, Max. To the right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so <laughs> fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that yeah. is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. <laughs> Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? 
maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I'd rather go chat up Chloe. Oh, good picture to have her with the gun. <laughs> Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. the same area but not the same area I oh, know okay I know where I am I'm gonna go look at the it's overturned car oh well fine then beyond repair rest in peace Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. Oh, great landscape. I don't good. know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. The landscaper is gone long enough so I can talk again. I don't think you should shoot him. I don't think she would. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Like, not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Go back and see what happens. Come on, come on. Can you go any slower? Jesus Christ.
Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do anything we want, whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Huh. <laughs> That is hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. That's a worse. You idea. have until Friday to pay me. Maybe. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Hmm. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Wowzer. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? Wowzer. We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Oh, I don't... Fuck. No, I think this guy just wants money. If we can get the money, he'll probably go away. I'm gonna leave it. Wait, where are we going? Oh, she's over there. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate board and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. <laughs> hung out? Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you.
Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smart ass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Just the lose train. the shoe. Oh shit! Max, you can't just yank Chloe out like a superhero. Move! Here we go, here we go. I need to pull the switching lever. Pull it, pull it. Now what? I can't even move it an inch. How was this? Come on, Max! Awesome, it's not rock. Okay. Now, go back to the chaos. I better find the tool to cut those wires. Where's stuff? That seems like the wrong way. Max! Stuff. That's a bird. I don't want to go that way. What'd you get for playing on train tracks? Max, get me out of here! Come on. That's... Definitely use this bad boy. <laughs> There's not enough time. Working on it. Ooh, push this in the way. Damn, something is blocking the drum. Oh, oh, stop pushing it then, stupid. Max, please. Max, get me out of here. Now I can finally move the drum. Let's go. Jesus, <laughs> I gotta lift her up. <laughs> Is there enough time to get down there? I have to help uh, Luke pull you up. That's not enough time. <laughs> All right, here we go. <gasps> Shit, no, 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 go. Find something oh, God play. damn it, no, go back further. Here, which is useless. I'm gonna go to explore. See what else we got over here? She's gonna die here in a second. Whatever. Okay. Max, get me out of here! Now I can finally move the drum. Let's go. Push that. Okay, she's gonna hit. Enough. Yeah. Shit. All right, I gotta go all the way back. Now 
I can finally move the drum. No, I need. Oh, I have the crowbar. To help lift Chloe up. Go, 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 go. Damn. That was close. You saved me again. Crazy. We were totally vulnerable. Really? You okay? I got splinters in my ass and legs, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. A long chapter, man. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <laughs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? <laughs> uh. uh... It means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Go to class. Ne'er do well. time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Perfect wandering. So are you going to that Carrying a gun to class is cool, though. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. It's like ten rooms. I think you can remember it. Justin always looks stoned. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Uh, I can always rewind time. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. <laughs> Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Is the meeting in the hallway standing there? Because that seems like you're there for the meeting. This conversation serves no purpose. So I will not have it. Sir? Oh. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. 
I wonder if I should even keep that. Eh, leave it. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Join us, or die. <laughs> Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I don't. <laughs> You're I don't. right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. You're a dummy. Oh, good. I do not want to talk to him. Hello, climate change. Does anybody believe this shit? Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a foot. Hello, Zach. What's up, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As what? long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. What do you mean, it's over? It's over. Just another Blackwell mini-drama. Okay. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. What makes you think I'd go to that? Talk to Professor Asshole. If only I knew what David Madsen was really. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? Wait, hold on. I rerun time. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. I rewound time to where I wasn't found out. But maybe he knows that I know about it, not that I was there. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Yeah, okay. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. <laughs> if I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Hmm. He seemed nicer today. You best not bother chatting me up now. Well, that was what. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. If they have a dorm, why do they have I a saw lock? Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Okay, that's science. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't what? understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Just leave me alone. Following you. Uh, what do uh, you want from me? Uh, I think she's just going to leave. 
sign plan. Yeah, because if I go talk to him, ooh, back entrance. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not there. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily think, rounds? Big brain, think. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. This can't be that You already hard. planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Huh? Don't let me get in your way. So long. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Weird. It's too Very bad weird. you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts. And yours might be the one that decided. Not gonna sign it. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Mm, yeah. Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing here, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. All right, what dumb science crap are you doing? Bring me the brain, Igor. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I, I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. I don't want one from you. Weird science. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's asking me for I have to add either a... I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. I'm gonna kill him. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Sure, whatever. Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos, but you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. 
Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Is everyone talking about me? I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I did, but then I went I back promise this time. matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yeah. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Snoopy people. Yeah, that was private. That Who was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I? Excuse me, Max. Oh, Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Uh-huh. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. So, so. I guess I'm out of time to turn in a photo for the contest. Irony. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. You're kind of doing something. Arcadia Bay looks way more majestic here. It's like Twilight Whoa, Dunham. Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets oh, yeah. pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. There you are. Daniel is always on the outside looking. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Yeah. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Uh, F no one says FB, dude. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. I'm just gonna stand your, in your photo Dana here. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. I'm gonna talk to the other girl. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody. I can't does. believe the principal Max lets him stay in school after I told him what happened. I think she can Are they hear dating? Us. I feel so awkward after bagging on Victoria yesterday. I'm still hoping the game's gonna be stabbing her in the eye with some. I like stuff. Taylor's artistic side. No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. Mm, yes, art. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. Oh, burn. Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. 
Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Assholes. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have later. a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. You... Were a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen! <laughs> Everybody remain seated. Dismissed. There's crazy shit going on. I gotta go see it. Is this for real? It slipped out. I didn't oh, think no. that messed up. I don't like this. This isn't good. Please don't be dead. Oh, Jesus. Okay, not dead yet. She can't die. She can't. Go back. Maybe next time you don't spend 10 minutes walking up to the scene. Not again. No, 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 no. Fuck. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. How do 
my bird. Going where? Like inside? So close. No, don't do it. No. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. Oh, I fuck. will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Gathering proof. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. There are billions of videos. I don't, I don't know. Be strong. Uh, that's not helpful. I don't think that's very helpful in this scenario. Everyone will forget and we'll go back to normal. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered. Unless I jump. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No, nobody cares about me. Nobody. I don't remember her family. Can I look up her family right here? Look up Kate. Maybe I got a uh, got some information. Oh Jesus! 
I don't know who would be... I forget who wrote the letter that said you're just on. That was like her aunt. Appeal to her father, I think. I don't know if she had sister. I think she had a... No, she had both. She had both brothers and sisters. That's the father. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without oh, yeah, question. Oh, postcard. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. See? You're not alone. And Don't nobody down there that. wants to see you up here. She'll turn and this look. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice and try, Max. Papers. But God put me on this route. Suicide is a sin, isn't it? If you believe in hell, you might end up there. I don't want that to happen. What difference does it make? I'm already in hell anyway. No! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those root doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I like it the pivotal moment in fucking landscape, people. We're only here one day a week. It had to be now. No, Jefferson didn't do anything. David. I don't have any proof Nathan did anything. Fuck. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. It, I was Jesus? trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little. <laughs> Are you going to take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. I don't have a fucking picture. Now, if you have anything else to say. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend oh, and fellow a student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. 
Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Yeah, I gotta see what the other way is. Can this ever go faster in the way I want it to? Jesus. Nathan Dozer. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? I still what haven't. Ever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. Yeah, and right. since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. Good. See like you in court. Dick. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. A better, better we outcome. We don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of. All right, yeah. Caulfield. Sure, you're devastated. Fine. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. How could we'll be, be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
Yeah, I'm leaving. Peace out. Which one's Rachel? Oh, this is like someone's journal on those people. Oh, shit.